Hey guys, it's Rose with Rose Likes Crochet. How is everybody doing? It is Friday, August 23rd, 2024 for you guys. And I am coming on here with another Yarn Yakin video for August. It might be the last one for August. We'll see. <laughs> so for those of you who are new here, my name is Rose. I like to crochet. <clears throat> I like yarn a lot and I make stitch markers. So please go check out my Etsy shop. It is linked down below in the description box. If you could favor the shop and favor a few items, it really does help me out a whole lot and I do appreciate it. I do sell things other than stitch markers and I want to say thank you to everyone who has made a purchase in the past couple of weeks. Um, I was showing F-bombs on my last Yarn Yakin video. Go check that out. And someone just purchased one. So thank you so much for um, anyone who's made a purchase in my Etsy shop. I do sell loveys, um, baby blankets, <clears throat> bucket hats, all kinds of things in there. And if you can't purchase anything, that's fine. If you could just favorite some items, it just helps the algorithm. So um, the reason I say you're seeing this on Friday, February 23rd, is because I'm probably already in the car on the way to my craft fair. I have a three-day craft fair this weekend. So I wanted to come on here real quick and show you a couple finished items. And um, I had recorded some stuff in the past that I wanted to show you also. So um, yarn yakin videos are basically me talking about if I have any happy mail, if I've made yarn purchases, which I have besides this. <laughs> I got some new yarn from Michaels and um, some finished objects. I don't usually show whips because I don't want to be held accountable. <laughs> so we'll get the admin stuff out of the way first. Um, there's a Facebook group for this YouTube podcast, so go and join. You have to answer three questions. I promise you they're easy. Uh, you can follow me on Instagram. That's at Rose Likes Crochet, and that is connected to a Facebook business page. So in the Facebook group where you have to answer the questions, please come and join and show us what you're working on. I love seeing what you guys are doing. Let us know of all the sales that you find, if you find any. And um, the Facebook business page is just attached to the Instagram. So it's whatever I post on Instagram. Uh, I'm on TikTok, but I'm not very active on there. And of course the Etsy shop and there is a spring shop linked down below. Every, everything that I talk about, patterns, um, people, anything, guys, go check out the description box down below. Um, before I get started on everything today, I do want to say thank you so much to everyone who wished my daughter a happy birthday. That was in the last Yarn Yakin video. I really do appreciate it, um, and she appreciates it too. So thank you so, so much. Okay, so uh, the first thing I want to show you are some yarn purchases, <laughs> as you can see here. So I'm not going to dump this out or anything, but I do want to let you guys know that what you should be doing if you if you have the means is checking out Facebook Marketplace. Um, so I kind of every time I go on Facebook, I look in the marketplace to see if there's any like good yarn deals or displays that I could get for my craft fairs. And um, I was checking it out the other day and I found someone who was selling some cotton yarn. And this person had two different listings. And one of the listings was like, 30, 25 balls of yarn for like $36 or something like that. And the other listing was like 20 balls of yarn for like 30 something dollars. And I noticed that it was the same person. So I sent her a message and I said, hey, would you take 50 for all of it? It was like 60, like 65 balls of yarn, 64 balls of yarn. It was like 30 and 34 or something like that. So I messaged her and just asked if she would take 50 for all of it. And she said, yes. So I went and picked it up. So, so this is the bin. I have already started using some of it and I'll show you what for. Um, so everything was full. I did start using these two balls of yarn. It's all peaches and cream, you guys. And I'll just show you like what it looks. This is like completely packed with peaches and cream cotton yarn. I did not count the yarn when I picked it up because you guys, it is just so packed in there. So I am super excited. There are some yarns, uh, some colors in here that I haven't had before. And I think there are some duplicates of some, so I could probably put some of this together and make market bags or <clears throat> water bottle holders, washcloths. There's so many things I could do. I mean, that is really a good deal. That's less than, way less than a dollar a ball um, that I got for 
all of this yarn. <laughs> so I was super excited. So besides checking the normal stores for things, you guys check Facebook Marketplace. I'm not really an eBay person, so I haven't checked there. Um, I'm not about to auction or look at auctions. I don't have time for that. So anyway, this was one of my um, purchases this past week. I was so happy to get this, you guys. Okay, so besides this, um, I did place an order with Joanne Fabric, so I'll show you what I got in another video on that. Most of it is bee making supplies. Uh, so it's Bernat blanket yarn in white, black, yellow. I think I might have gotten like the new fluffy or something like that. Um, but uh, that I got because I have an order for 12 bumblebees for the middle of September, but I'm not doing that right now. So <laughs> I'll show you that in the next Yarn Yakin video. But you guys all know because it's all over YouTube and Facebook that Michael's came out with new Karen cakes. So I did have to place an order and I will say that there are probably 20 people here on YouTube that enabled me to do this. And if you know anything about me, I am always late to the party. I can't order things as soon as they come out and show you guys as soon as they come out. So this is the best it's going to get for me. So um, I did not open the box, but I know they had new um, anniversary cakes, which I'm not really a big fan of, but I think I got one. They have new latte cake colors. Um, I think they have like the cupcakes, um, the little ones with the pom-poms. I did not get any of those. Macchiato cakes, I'm not a fan of those, but that's just because it has wool in it and I have plenty of regular Karen cakes that have wool in it. So let me just get the box and I'll, I'll, I'll open it and then I'll show you what I got. Hang on. Okay, so <laughs> it's funny that I said I'm not a fan of anniversary cakes, but I have three of them right here. <laughs> You guys, the colors just drew me in, so I had to get them. So I will tell you, there is no invoice in the box, but hey, at least Michael shipped in one box. Um, but everything was 30% off. So if you go to their website in US dollars, uh, whatever the original price was, and then take off 30%. And I got free shipping. So, okay. So anniversary cakes, uh, if you don't know, they come out every year, and they have been doing different, like, styles, colors, whatever. Um, so this year they have more like variegated or striped anniversary cakes. So I'm gonna tell you about these. Now they only have them like once a year, it's very limited edition. And if you don't get them, they're gone and you can't get them for another year. And they change the colors. So like if say you wanted to get like this one and you needed two for a blanket, you better go get both of them that you need right now because once they sell out, they don't replenish them. Okay, so <laughs> this is what it looks like. And I'm sure if you guys have been on YouTube in the past week, you have seen people haul this and order this and get this and ooh and ah about this. And I'm just really liking the colors on these. I have not gone into my local Michaels to see what they have. Um, and honestly, I probably won't go and look because these are the colors that I saw on the website that I liked. Okay, so Karen Anniversary Cakes, and let's see what it says here. Limited time only. Uh, in US, it's $39.99, Canada, $44.99. They show a bag on there. Um, I, I don't mind making bags out of acrylic if you line, if I lined them, but I don't like to line things, so therefore I don't make bags out of acrylic yarn. <laughs> All right, I'll tell you about this. Made in China. Uh, it is a six super bulky, which for me a six super bulky is like blanket yarn. Uh, this is more like a five weight to me. Uh, let me see if I can hold it up and show you guys. It's, it's technically, it's a five weight, you guys. There's no way that's a six, okay. Uh, it's 100% acrylic, machine wash and dry. They recommend eight millimeter knitting needles and crochet hook. Uh, it is 35.3 ounces or 1,000 grams, 1,061 yards, 970 meters. And this color is called Hocus Crocus. And you guys, it has green in there. So it's got all these shades of purple. And then it's got like this really light mint green in there. And I know you can make a blanket out of one of these. Lisa from Happy to Hook Creations, I'll link her down below. She makes a blanket out of one of these. And um, I think I've done it one time. Uh, I don't remember what happened to the blanket, but um, so I don't know what I'll do with these. I think because I'm considering it a five weight, 
Um, you could make a hat and a scarf set out of this. Um, you could probably make a cardigan out of this. Like, um, I'm trying to think of what yarn is similar where you could get like a solid color to match. I bet you you could find a five bulky that would uh, be a nice contrasting color to this if you wanted to make like a cardigan. Um, you could probably even make a shawl, but that would be kind of heavy, I think. I don't know. <laughs> so uh, this one has to be my most favorite one and that's because it's purple. I just think it's absolutely gorgeous. Uh, so Hocus Crocus is this one. And then this one right here is called Ocean Tide. <clears throat> and you guys, this one has uh, like a royal blue, an aqua blue, almost like a navy, like a faded navy blue. It also has that mint green in it. It's the same mint green that's in the, um, the Hocus Crocus. And you know what? I can already see a knot. Oh man, look at that, you guys. There's a knot. Um, so I don't know. I thought this one was really, really pretty. I love the blues on that one. Okay, and then the last one I got, and I think they have a couple of different rainbowy kind, a kind of colors. This one is called Prismatic. And this one has red, orange, yellow, like a greenish color, royal blue, purple, white, and black. It's got like every color of the rainbow in there. Yes, red, orange, yellow, green, blue, purple, pink, white, black, it's everything. So, um, and this one, they all have the same pattern on there, you guys, which is a bag, which I would not make with this, but that's just me. And that's just because I don't wanna line it. So I got three of these anniversary cakes. Again, not sure exactly when I'll have time to work with these, but um, it feels the same as it did last year. It's, and it says it's a six super bulky, but it's really, it's really more of a five plus. <laughs> it's a five plus. Okay, then the other um, cakes that I got, because remember, like I said, they have macchiato cakes, uh, the cupcakes, I think they have something else new too, but they had new latte cakes, you guys. Oh my goodness gracious. So this is a Karen latte cake and it's really fuzzy and it is so soft and delicious. Oh my gosh. Now, last year when I got my Eddie knitting machine, they were talking about, there's a whole bunch of tutorials where you can do a hat and a cowl from one of these on an Addy knitting machine. So I really want to try that. And I have so many old latte cakes. Um, I really do want to try it. Okay, so I'm going to tell you about this one. Uh, US is $12.99, Canada $14.99. Uh, this is made in China. It is a five weight, and that's only really because of the fuzzies on there. They recommend six and a half millimeter knitting needle and crochet hook, machine wash and dry. 58% acrylic, 42% nylon, 8.8 .8 ounces, 250 grams, 530 yards, and 485 meters. Now, I only got one of each of these colors. This one is, and here I'll tell you what this one's called. It's called Night Storm, and it is kind of hard to see, but there's like a really bright, pretty blue in there. There, you can see that a little bit. So it's got like a navy blue and like a beige or an off-white, uh, this like really pretty bright blue um like lighter it's just like shades of blue it's so super pretty and it looks like a stuffed animal but it's so soft you guys okay so one of these which is called night storm and then this one right here is called marooned which is interesting because it's looks more pink to me than maroon but there is this darker maroon color right here but then there's like this like off-white and like pinky color and then like this hot pink color I would have called it something other than marooned but okay I mean it's so pretty so pretty you guys then I got this one <laughs> which is called sunset strip now this one has this hot pink color it's like a neon orange. Like if it didn't have the fuzz on it, it would be neon pink, neon orange, neon yellow. It's so pretty, you guys. Oh my gosh. Then they have this one, which is uh, almost my favorite one. This is called Zesty. 
This one has like the neon green. It's almost like a neon turquoise and like, like a softer lime green. Oh my gosh. Where, how, it's just gorgeous. And then of course my favorite one is going to be this one, which is called Lavender Shore. And I really wish you guys could see just how bright and saturated, like this purple right here. Oh my gosh, you guys, just beautiful. They look way better in person than they do on the website. Okay, so that's all the yarn that I've acquired besides the Joanne order, and that's not even really that exciting. So I'm gonna tell you that I made some things. If you watched my last Yarn Yakin video, I showed you some kitchen towels that I was gonna turn, I was gonna make the towel holders for them. And I did, I made them because this craft fair is like today, when you're watching this, tomorrow and Sunday. It is a three day craft fair. So I will tell you that I used the tutorial from Creative Grandma and I thought I had, okay, I do have the little notepad note here. It is called the Quick and Easy No Sew to Towel Topper. It is linked down below in the description box if you guys wanna find uh, the tutorial. And the metal rings that I buy from Amazon are also linked down below. So please go and check out the description box. Um, I do everything exactly the way that she does them. So I'm just gonna show you uh, these towels that I got. And these are the towel rings that I made. So this one, because the witch is black and there's purple print on it, I used black cotton and a purple button. And there are two of these. So at my craft fair, I will sell them separately. And then I have all the rest of these are the football themed ones. So these towels I picked up at Dollar General. This one says family fall football. I matched the leaf right here with this gold yarn and then put a green button on there. This one says, let's tailgate y'all. <laughs> And I used green yarn with this wooden button right here. And there's two of these, two of our, all of these. This one uh, has all those words on it. I used the green yarn with a black button. And then finally, this last one says game on. And I used the green yarn with a white button. So <laughs> that was the towels. That was definitely the thing that I needed to get finished before today. So I did. All right, the next thing I'm gonna show you is actually, um, I have been making these things called loaf cats. And I actually made a whole bunch probably a month ago. And then like three weeks ago, I made a whole bunch. I videotaped them because I had to bring them to my craft fair. So I'm going to insert those clips. There's two different clips. I will insert both of them right here, and then I'll come back and I'll show you what I just made this week. So here are those loaf cat clips. Hey guys, Rose from the past. I am filming this on Friday, June 21st. I have a craft fair tomorrow from 10 to two and I need to get my car packed up. And this will not be long enough video to make it its own video. So um, just like you might've seen in the past, I'm just putting in little snippets of finished objects so I can get them prepared for my craft fair. So there's this lady on YouTube named Lisa who has been making these um, amigurumi called a loaf cat. And I figured I would give it a try and I have been enjoying making some loaf cats. So I figured I would come on here and show you all the loaf cats that I've been making <laughs> over the past week or so. And um, just so you can kind of see, like now if you guys um, are new, I don't like making amigurumi unless it is pretty much a no-sew. <clears throat> now these loaf cats, at least the pattern that I got from, uh, and I'll tell you where I got the pattern from. They are pretty much a low sew. The only thing you have to sew on is the tail. Um, so it's still a little bit above my, uh, my crochet level, my experience level, but I think I might have done okay on most of these. Okay, so the tutorial that I used is called Loaf Cat by False Bubbles on YouTube, and I will link it down below in the description box of this video. 
And I believe she, when she does the tutorial, she does it using worsted weight yarn. And um, <clears throat> also, if you've been here for any length of time, I don't do amigurumi and worsted weight yarn. So um, I use blanket yarn and a seven millimeter hook. And um, I think that's, I did modify the pattern just a little bit. Um, but you will also have to modify the pattern based on your tension and um, how big you want the cat, etc. So, um, yeah, so I just want to make sure I had the name of the tutorial. So I used, um, well, I'll just show you what I used. So I got this, here, let me see here. This is called a Bernat Blanket Ombre, and I'll show you, it's, uh, here, let me see. It looks like that, except it, instead of saying dappled, it says ombre on it. And I'm not sure if this was like a clearance item. Uh, I'll give you specs on Burnett Blanket. They're 220 yards and it's a six bulky, 100% polyester. So this particular one is called Orange Crush Ombre. And this is all I had left out of one ball of this yarn. So I'll show you all of the cats that I got. Now, some of these... Uh, most of these were, if they were blanket ombre, they were full balls. And some of them I got four with a little leftover. And some of them I got three and a half and had to add some yarn. So I'll just show you. Okay, so this one, I don't know if it's available. Orange Crush Ombre is that one. And it goes from like a lighter color to a darker color. So I think this was the first one. Maybe. I don't know. I can't really tell. <laughs> All right, so here is the loaf cat, and he is a little bit lopsided, or she is a little bit lopsided. Um, yeah, there's different ways to do the noses. You can do the whiskers, whichever way you want. Um, the first couple ones, that this is not the first one that I tried, but the first couple ones, um, I did the nose a little bit differently, and I did the whiskers a little bit differently. Um, this guy, his tail is on lopsided, which is why I do not like making um, amigurumi that you have to sew. Anyway, this guy, I gave him green eyes and his whiskers and nose are sparkly green yarn. So that is one of them and he is completely lopsided. <laughs> Here is the next one and he is maybe a little bit better, except his mouth is down too far. I mean, I could come up with all kinds of things wrong with each one that I'm going to show you, but I'm just going to, so you don't have to point it out to me. I know that they're all lopsided <laughs> and there is his tail. <laughs> so there's a second one. And then this guy, he's a little chunkier and he's got a smirk. Yeah. He's like, mm. <laughs> and there is his tail. And then here is the last one using that yarn. And yeah, they're, they're all going to be a little bit lopsided, you guys. So there is this guy. He still has some uh, polyfill coming out. So there is that one. And then I actually got this next yarn um, from Lisa from Happy to Hook Creations, like probably a year and a half ago. She gave me a whole bunch of like scrap blanket yarns. There was no label to it. It just, it was a big big pile like that <laughs> and I got two loaf cats out of that one so I'll just show you both of them there we go and so they're all going to be different they're all going to have different personalities their ears are all wonky and I don't care because I think they're adorable maybe this one not so much but <laughs> all right so the next one that I'm going to show you is not a Burnett blanket it is a big twist plush which looks like that. It is from Joanne Fabrics. And this color is called Variegated Pastel. And these balls only have 153 yards. So I was only able to make two uh, loaf cats out of one of these balls. Um, I'm pretty sure I could get like a half a cat or three quarters of a cat out of this one. Um, but I was like, you know what, I'm good with two. So I'll show you these two and you can tell me what you think of them. <laughs> Again, really wonky, <laughs> but that's okay. Oh my gosh. And there's their little legs right down there. So the legs are no-so. 
and the ears are no sew. So the only thing you really have to sew on are the tails on those. Okay, so there's those two. Then I had some of this, um, burn, what was this a clearance from? This looks like it was clearance from a store called Meyer, uh, and this is called Beach Babe. And I had one full ball and a little scrap from another ball and then this ball. And I got two, two loaf cats out of this one. So I could probably get another, I don't know, a monster or a loaf cat or something out of that. So I will show you these guys. And you know, if I show them to you one at a time, they don't look so wonky. I mean, that one does look kind of wonky, but there is this guy. So there are his ears and his little bobble feet and his tail. And then here is the second one. And yeah, they all turn out a little bit lopsided, but that's okay. I mean, no one's perfect, not even cats. <laughs> all right, so that's those two. And then I had this baby blanket dappled from, um, this was in a cake form and this color was called Crocus Fairy. And I'm not sure if any of those are available anymore, but that one is called Crocus Fairy. And I actually ran out of yarn on the last one. So I will show you them one at a time. And that one looks kind of interesting because it started out on a dark purple. So it kind of really does look like his nose. So there's one, there is the second one. They kind of look like pigs, <laughs> right? I don't know. <laughs> Here is the third one. And the, these whiskers, I didn't, these are what I started doing. And then I wound up going to a different way to do the whiskers. And this is the last one. Oh, and I just realized he does have a face, but it's really hard to see it. It is purple sparkly yarn, which I should have done a darker color. Cause if you look at it from the back, you really can't even tell that he's got a face. And this was the last one and I ran out of the yarn for this. So I picked up a scrap. This was actually from something that was purple. It just doesn't look purple. It just looks white. Okay, so that is the purple ones. Then I found this Bernat baby blanket dappled again. And the color on this one is called Rosy. And I believe I also had to add yarn, but I'm not sure which one. We'll start with this one. So there is that one. And then we have this guy right here. They really do look like pigs, don't they? I don't know, should I sell them as pigs or loaf cats? <laughs> that one's kind of cute. And there's the tail and the little bobbly feet. And then I think this one is the one that I had to use a different yarn. And I'm pretty sure you can't even really tell. I ran out of the, the actual yarn on that one. So there is that one. And the very last color, cause I'm not sure that I'm gonna do these anymore, but I had already started these balls and I didn't wanna have scraps. So this last one is from a Bernat baby blanket and the color is called Baby Grays. And I did run out of yarn on, on this set as well, but I'll show you, I'll show you them. This is the first one. And uh, the pooling is kind of interesting on that. <clears throat> so there's one. Here is the second one. And again, the pooling looks really interesting. Here is the third one. I don't know, maybe it's because you don't, ever join, like you just go in a continuous circle that everything looks kind of wonky. But I don't know, we'll see if they sell. If they do, then I'll keep making them, maybe. <laughs> and this is the one, the last one, and I did run out of yarn on this one. I didn't even have enough to do like half of one of these. So it started off with this baby grays color, and then I, try, I tried, I have a lot of blanket yarn. I tried to find a color to match this pink and none of my pinks matched it. So I picked a different color pink and I did stripes on it. So this one is a completely different color. And then I continued here with some more of this baby grays color. And then I had to finish it off in the pink color. So I didn't even have enough out of one ball to make four full cats. 
so I did have to use another color on that one. And they will stand up, but they just look lopsided. And I don't, I don't think that there's anything I can really do about that. I don't know. Let me know. Have you guys made a loaf cat? <laughs> Let me know. I'm not sure when this is going to come on. It'll be on one of the yarn yakin videos. Um, so that's it. I'm going to go take a picture of these guys and then pack them up and get ready for the craft fair tomorrow. So I will see you guys later. Bye. Hey guys, Rose from the past here. It is the week of August 1st and I am just inserting this video into a future video because I have a craft fair this coming Saturday and I need to get all these items photographed and put in my um, stuff, my totes, so that I can get them ready for the craft fair, which is the Saturday. And I don't think I'm going to have time to make a regular um, yarn yakin video to show you. So for this segment, which I hope I have already introduced from Future Rose. Uh, these are going to be some loaf cats and I have a special friend that's going to make an appearance here as well because I only have one of them. Anywho, so um, I am going to say that um, someone very in particular has enabled me to make loaf cats and you should see a video before this of some other loaf cats that I've made but a lot of those have already sold. So this is just an additional loaf cat video. So Lisa from Happy to Hook Creations was making these and she said they were easy. And if she says something easy is easy, then it probably is. So I'm probably going to try it most likely. <laughs> so Lisa will be linked down below if you want to go check her out. So anyway, um, it's the same pattern <clears throat> that I talked about in this previous loaf cat video that you probably just saw. Um, in case you forgot, it's by False Bubbles here on YouTube. And she, of course, uses uh, worsted weight yarn and a five millimeter or four millimeter. And I use blanket yarn and a seven millimeter hook. So this is my latest batch of loaf cats that I'm gonna show you. And um, a little bit less colorful, I think, than the other ones that um, you, you just saw. Um, but I had these, <clears throat> Bernat Blanket Ogos. I don't know if you guys remember these. Um, they wound up clearancing these out last year, and then a store named Ollie's had a bunch of these on sale. This one was clearanced from Joanne Fabrics for $5.97. Uh, let me see if the other ones were also. Uh, this one was clearanced for $4.47, <clears throat> and I don't remember which colors go together, you guys, but I'm just gonna tell you where I got the yarn. $5.97 on this one, clearance at Joanne Fabrics. <clears throat> so there's three colors in each one of these Burnett Blanket Ogos. So I thought that I would just take the yarn, and by the way, there is leftover yarn from each of the loaf cats, but not enough to make another loaf cat. So I'm gonna just tell you the colors that I use. It's regular Burnett Blanket yarn, the normal 220, even these had 220 yards. So it's basically the size of a Burnett Blanket um, ball of yarn. So one of these was called Art Nouveau, one was called London, and one was called Tiramisu. So I don't remember which color went for which. One of them did have like um, a cream color with it. And I did not make a cat out of that cream color thinking I would use that for highlights with something else like a chicken or something else. Um, so that's the only color I did not use out of this. So if I would have used that one, I would have gotten nine loaf cats all together, but I only have eight. So, um, you can't get these anymore um, and uh, so I'm just going to go and put this in the recycle bin because that's pretty much it for those. I do have some that have the three different shades of blue. I have two of those left and I have one that has like a pink and orange and a yellow on it and I haven't used those yet. So I'm going to show you my loaf cats. All right here is the first one and they always turn out lopsided because you're not um, joining um, at the end of each round, you're just going in a continuous uh, circle. So for me, even though when I look at it, it looks like it's um, straight, it's not, it never will be. <laughs> but the legs, you know, it does stand on its own because you have to make sure the legs are lined up. Um, so this is, it's hard to see him, but he's got blue eyes and a blue mouth. And there is Mr. Loaf Cat there, or Miss Loaf Cat, and there is the tail. And that is the first one. 
And I, this one, this yarn was actually really soft. Some of them were rough, some of them were not, which was very interesting because it was all in the same ball or in the same, the same skein of yarn. So this is the first one. And then this one is the second one. And it feels weird. Like, I feel like I should have stuffed the tail, but you're not supposed to stuff the tail. This one I think I messed up on, but hopefully no one will notice. So this one has like the orange eyes and like um, yellowy mouth. And I didn't put whiskers on any of these. Some of my other ones that you saw in the last video do have whiskers, but these I did not put any whiskers on. Here is the next one. I mean, these are kitty cat colors, right? The browns, maybe not the blue, because uh, blue cat, no. But the rest of these could be cat colors. I don't know. <laughs> and that one has like yellowy eyes and an orange mouth. And then we have this guy here who's got blue eyes and a blue mouth. Oh my gosh, you guys, I had so much fun making these. <clears throat> but now I need to start making some stingrays and some bumblebees. Um, I'll probably always have to make loaf cats, but um, I really don't mind them. And I can get three out of one ball of Bernat blanket yarn. So um, if you guys use different yarn, you can probably get more, right? Because it wouldn't be as big and bulky. Um, so I will again link that pattern down below. Here is a blue one with pink eyes. I don't know. I know cats don't have pink eyes, but if it's a loaf cat and I made it, it can. <laughs> and then um, I used these fun eyes on this one. I thought that was really cute. It kind of reminds me of Garfield. I should have made that in this one, right? Because then it would have been like a Garfield looking cat, but that's okay. So there's this guy and he, there's stuffing coming out. And then the last one <laughs> is this one. And I'm going to say... It's got blue eyes, a blue mouth, and I put a blue bow on it because why not? If someone wants this and they don't want the bow, I can take the bow off. So these bows right here are from Hobby Lobby. They come two to a pack and they were two for 99 cents. Two, two a pack, one pack of two for 99 cents. And it wasn't on sale, but I figured that was a cute little addition. So in addition to the ones that you just saw, I have these also. So I have one, two, three, four, I have eight more loaf cats to add to my collection. And I did sell quite a few in my last craft fair. So I don't even know if this is gonna be enough to stock the shelves. I might have to make some more. So the bonus on this video is I had this yarn from Sheen maybe. And I don't remember how much it was, but it was blanket yarn. And I decided to make an octo with it. It was staring me in the face and it was really pretty. And I had to, so I made an octo with that. Um, but this was all that was left, which would not have been enough for the tentacles. By the way, this octo pattern is from Lorella the Dabbling Hook. If you wanna go and check her out, I'll link that down below. And so I just took some of my purple um, scrap blanket yarn, cause purple <laughs> and I added tentacles to the bottom of that and I think it it's not the right color purple it's a little bit darker but you know yeah so this is your bonus is this little purple octo purple and pink octo so that is it I'm going to go and pack these take pictures and pack these guys up for the craft fair and I'm going to return you back to the original video you were watching all right bye Okay, so I'm pretty sure in those videos I tell you who the loaf cats are by, but I'll tell you again. Um, I use a tutorial here on YouTube. It is uh, by False Bubbles, and it's just called a loaf cat. And I believe she makes it in a four-weight yarn, but you know, guys, when I do amigurumi, I'm not using four-weight yarn anymore. <laughs> so I use blanket yarn and a seven-millimeter hook. Um, with this batch of loaf cats, I also had some extra, so I made some leggy frogs. And I'll tell you, the leggy frog tutorial that I use here on YouTube is by Chloe Crafts. And both of these tutorials will be linked down below in the description box. Okay, so the first one that I made, I'll show you. <laughs> it is Bernat Baby Blanket Yarn. And this color is called Blue Jean Dot. Okay, so I'm gonna show you guys uh, what the loaf cats look like in blue jean dot. This is some of the new dotty yarn or dotted yarn looking stuff that's at Joanne Fabrics. 
So I will show you that I got oh, one fell on the floor. Hang on. So I have two and three of these little loaf cats that I got from the blue dotted. What is it called again? Blue jean dot. Uh, I, some of them I made the faces different. I put whiskers on some. I put different colored eyes on some. Uh, I don't like sewing things, so the tails are almost always lopsided, um, and that's just the way it is. I really don't like anything that you have to sew, but I'm making an, an, an exception <laughs> for these loaf cats. Now, I had a little bit of yarn left over, and I thought I could get a leg leggy frog out of it, but I couldn't. There wasn't enough yarn, <laughs> so I had to do a frog in pants. So I had just enough yarn to do up to here on this leggy frog. And then I had to give him some pants. So this guy is wearing some blue pants and that's that's the way he's gonna be. Okay, <laughs> so, so that was Blue Jean Dot. The next one that I used is called, it is Bernat Blanket Tie-Dye-ish. And the color on this one is called Tropical Sea. Now I have this much yarn left over, but I'm gonna tell you, I got four cats out of this one ball. And on this one, I only got three cats and half a frog. Okay, so here is one of them. And it's really cool because it's called the tie-dye yarn. Like they all look a little bit different. So I'll show you that one. Like the faces kind of look the same on that one, but then this one doesn't have a whole lot of light color in it. It's more got that green color in it. Then there's this guy right here. And he's got all kinds of different shades on him as well. And then I actually got a fourth one. <laughs> you guys, they're all the same size. So I got four of these guys out of this tie-dye-ish yarn and I even have a little bit left over. Um, and they all are the same size, I checked. Okay, and the last one, let me see if I can find the tag, is Bernat Baby Blanket. And the color on this one is called Petal Pink. And so this is what I have left over. I was able to get this loaf cat, this loaf cat, and what do you guys think? I like this smile a little bit better. I know it's not the nose, but I like that one a little bit better. And then this one, so I got three complete loaf cats out of that and I got an entire leggy frog. <laughs> so that's what I've been doing this week is working on cats and frogs and a couple other things, which I'll have to show you in other videos because uh, the video is already too long. So let me know what you guys think about loaf cats if you use a different pattern. Um, leggy frogs, I probably won't deviate from this pattern because I really, really like it. Um, I do have a lot more towels to make I have so much stuff, you guys, there's not enough time in the day for me to do all the things I wanna do. So that's what I have for this video. I'm not gonna probably touch those latte cakes for a little while, nor will I probably touch the anniversary cakes for a while, um, just because I have so many craft fairs. Uh, I'm trying to keep all of the amigurumi inventory like ready and like stocked, and I will have craft fairs until the end of the year. So it looks like my life will be basically doing amigurumi for the rest of the year. So um, anyway, let me know if you found any new uh, any of the new Karen cakes at Michael's and let me know what you think. I'm in love with the latte cake colors. I really like the colors on the anniversary cakes, um, but they shouldn't lie and say it's a six. <laughs> they should just be truthful and tell us it's a five. So, all right, so wish me luck at the craft fair. Again, thanks everyone for the birthday wishes for my daughter. And I will see you in the next video. Bye.